Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded equilateral triangle uh, AEF and the circle with the center O fully inscribed uh, in a blue square uh, A, B, C, D as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, this equilateral triangle uh, AEF uh, and this uh, circle uh, are tangent to each other at this point F and moreover the area of this uh, circle has been given to us uh, as pi centimeter square and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, equilateral triangle AEF please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, green shaded triangle AEF. And we know that this uh, green triangle is an equilateral triangle. So therefore, uh, all these uh, interior angles in this uh, triangle are going to be congruent. And likewise, uh, all these uh, side lengths are going to be congruent as well. And now let's recall the triangle sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. And since uh, these uh, angles are uh, congruent, so therefore we conclude that each uh, of these uh, interior angles are going to be 60 degrees each. So thus our, all these uh, interior angles uh, turn out to be 60 degrees each. And now we are going to focus uh, on this uh, circle whose area has been given to us as pi centimeter square. And now our task is uh, to calculate the radius of this circle. I'm going to label the radius as lowercase r and we are going to find the value of lowercase r. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area is always equal to pi r square where lowercase r is the radius. And in our case, uh, the radius of the circle is pi. So I'm going to fill in the blank. So pi equals to pi times uh, lowercase r square. And now we are going to divide both sides uh, by pi. And here we can see this pi and pi is gone. So therefore, our lowercase r square turns out to be equal to 1. And now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore our radius lowercase r simply turns out to be equal to 1 centimeter. So thus the radius uh, of this circle turns out to be 1. And now in this uh, next step I'm going to connect uh, these vertices A and C. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, AC is the diagonal of this uh, blue square. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 45 degrees uh, angle. And since this is a 45 degrees angle and this uh, angle is 60 degrees. So therefore, uh, this tiny angle has got to be 60 minus 45 is going to give us uh, 15 degrees angle. So therefore bear in mind that this uh, tiny angle turns out to be 15 degrees. And now in this uh, next step I am going to connect uh, this center O with this uh, point of tangency F. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OF is the radius of this circle and our radius uh, is equal to 1. So therefore, uh, this radius OF length turns out to be 1 centimeter. And now let's recall the circle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be exactly 90 degrees. So no wonder our this angle uh, EFO is going to be a 90 degrees angle since this is our uh, radius and uh, EF is our tangent line. And now let's make an observation. We can see this angle is 60 degrees and this angle is uh, 90 degrees. So if we add uh, 60 degrees uh, plus 90 degrees, uh, that is going to give us uh, 150 degrees. So therefore, uh, this whole angle 
turns out to be 150 degrees angle. And now let's make an observation and let's focus on this uh, tiny triangle AFO. We know this angle is uh, 15 degrees. This angle is uh, 150 degrees. And we know the sum of interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. So therefore we conclude that this uh, tiny angle has got to be 15 degrees. And let's focus once again on this triangle AFO. This angle is 15 degrees and likewise this angle is 15 degrees as well. So therefore we conclude that this triangle AFO is our isosceles triangle. So therefore we conclude that this side AF length has got to be equal to this side OF length. In other words these two side lengths are congruent. And we know this uh, OF side length uh, is uh, 1. So therefore we conclude that this uh, AF side length is going to be 1 centimeter as well. So thus our uh, side length uh, AF turns out to be equal to 1 centimeter. And now let's focus once again on this green shaded uh, triangle uh, AEF. And we know this is our equilateral triangle. And we already figured out uh, this side uh, AF length uh, as 1 centimeter. Then all these uh, other side lengths uh, are going to be 1 centimeter as well. So thus the side lengths uh, of this uh, green shaded triangle turns out to be 1 centimeter each. And here is our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, equilateral triangle AEF. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times uh, the side lengths uh, A and B times uh, sine of angle C. As you can see in this given triangle, here we got our side lengths uh, A and B and C is the angle in between. So therefore for this uh, triangle uh, AEF, our side lengths are 1 and 1 and the angle in between is 60 degrees. So therefore the area of this uh, green shaded equilateral triangle AEF is going to be a half times our side length uh, 1 times the other side length is 1 times sine of angle 60 degrees in between. And now we know that sine of 60 degrees is always square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore I'm going to replace that uh, sine of 60 degrees with the square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore uh, this is going to give us 1 divided by 2 times 1 times 1 is simply 1 divided by 2 times square root of 3 divided by 2. And if we multiply and simplify that is going to give us uh, square root of 3 divided by 4 centimeter square the area of this uh, green shaded equilateral triangle. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, green shaded uh, equilateral uh, triangle turns out to be square root of 3 divided by 4 centimeter square and that's going to be approximately equal to 0 0.433 centimeter squares as well. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.